There are benefits to consuming raw foods over cooked foods, but it's very important to note that both raw, cooked, as well as fermented foods, essentially rotten foods, played a role in the diets of every single one of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. What I mean by this is that every single group of human beings has always consumed animal foods in these three forms, raw, cooked, and fermented for various reasons. Raw foods tend to have a higher nutrient density, especially for the organs. Cooked foods have a higher calorie density. Uh, they're good for surviving, especially in colder climates. And fermented foods have specific nutrient as well as beneficial bacteria properties. Uh, this video, we're going to have a raw carnivore meal. And the main reason I like raw meals is I feel like they don't sap my energy. You know, when I have a completely raw meal, regardless of what it is, there are a few things that go into keeping my energy levels high. One is that raw food is very easy on the digestive system. The enzymes in the body are meant to digest raw food, especially when hydrochloric acid breaks down protein structures. So just having the food in its raw state makes it more available to the digestive system. Another aspect is you tend not to eat as much food. So you're reducing the bulk of the food you're eating, but you're increasing the nutrient density uh, without necessarily overburdening uh, any of your organ systems to consume an incredibly high amount of food. And the thing I really enjoy is, you know, not having to prep it. But I've noticed, you know, when I have a cooked food meal, even with a similar amount of protein, I feel kind of lethargic like I need to take a nap. And a lot of the times I usually do take a nap if I can when I eat a cooked food meal. If I know that I have to do things throughout the day and I don't want to take a nap, I keep my meal raw. Uh, today here, we have some very nutrient dense as well as approachable foods. Uh, we're going to achieve a balanced nutrient profile. And what I mean is we're going to get all the vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids our body needs in one very low calorie nutrient dense meal, or at least low calorie considering it's all we're eating for today. The only thing we won't be consuming today that might contribute to overall nutrient density is liver. Uh, that might be necessary for a higher vitamin A content, but to me, not everyone in every single indigenous group would have had the opportunity to get large amounts of vitamin A from liver in every meal. Uh, so this is salmon roe. Uh, most of you guys know this as ikura, caviar. I refer to them as fish eggs. Fish eggs are really the healthiest food you can consume. Uh, the only thing that comes close to them is liver. They have all the vitamins, minerals, elements, fatty acids in high and balanced amounts. The best source of DHA and EPA outside of animal brains. It's something that is actually affordable compared to real caviar. The main goal of the salmon roe for today from a nutrient perspective is going to be its cholesterol content and overall vitamin content. The cholesterol is very important uh, for certain processes in the body, especially the absorption of vitamin D3. Uh, seeing as I've been getting a lot of sun lately, I want to make sure to be eating some cholesterol. Uh, of course, you could eat some eggs, uh, but I am allergic to eggs. So for me, salmon eggs are a way for me to get the nutrients that I might not be getting uh, from eggs normally, such as vitamin E and vitamin K2 in larger amounts. Here I just have a pile of grass-fed ground beef 80-20, uh, completely raw. All of this has sat out to room temperature, uh, so it's a bit more enjoyable than eating it cold out of the fridge. Uh, the ground beef is mainly for protein calories. Uh, mainly to reduce palatability to some degree. You know, it doesn't taste as good as these other foods as it's not as heavily salted. And of course, there's nutrients depending on the quality of pasture. In this case, the cows were on winter pasture and hay. So the grass-fed beef here isn't too nutrient-dense. Here we have uh, some prosciutto di parma. Uh, forgive my, I am Italian, but I'm not really Italian. Prosciutto is a very approachable food. Uh, if it's from the Parma region, it's usually made from a higher quality animal. I'm not going to say that it's necessarily super low in omega-6, but it's super delicious. As I said, it's very, very tasty, and it helps us get vitamin K2. When a food ferments, the vitamin K2 content increases, and 
Overall, you know, I, I kind of miss a lot of foods due to my food allergies. Uh, prosciutto helps me alleviate that to some degree. We're achieving a decent balance of calories. We have some foods that are pretty tasty and approachable and all completely raw. So I shouldn't feel like I need to take a nap after this. Uh, what I usually do here is uh, I have some Redmond's Real Salt. Uh, Redmond's salt is much more potent than any other salt I've tried. So when you put just a little bit of this on your food, you want to be careful. You want to almost like powder it on because if you put too much of this salt on, the food starts tasting really salty. I believe it's because of the iodine content of the salt being very high. So on the ground beef, I usually just put a little bit of salt. Since the palatability of raw foods is pretty low, they don't really taste that good. It's really easy to gauge your appetite and see if you're truly hungry. Uh, this can be very helpful for weight loss, even something as silly as trying to save money on food. I don't actually feel super hungry today and uh, that might be because I didn't work out yesterday. So I'm just going to try to uh, have the salmon row and maybe some prosciutto just to get my nutrients in for today. Because I think if I, if I get through all this ground beef, I'm not going to be hungry for anything else. I never force myself to eat anything I don't want to. So if I start eating this and I'm not hungry anymore, uh, I'll move on to another food. If you guys want to learn uh, more about fish eggs, uh, salmon roe, I did a video the other week uh, titled Caviar is a Superfood if you want to check that out. But there isn't really a food that tastes so good after just putting salt on it. Uh, now Frankie Boy gets to enjoy some prosciutto. Uh, I will warn you guys, this meal is not for anyone with a histamine intolerance or uh, someone who could not tolerate reasonable amounts of salt. Uh, just bear that in mind, everything here is incredibly salty, the salmon roe, the prosciutto, and it's also high in histamines as these are aged foods. What really bothers me is they always trim the fat off the prosciutto and that's the best tasting part. It's pretty crazy that the government has convinced all Americans that fat is so bad that you have places like Spain and Japan where they literally know the fat is the best part. Total cultural disconnection. I don't know if it's because I'm Italian. I've always almost preferred the taste of pork over beef. It's just the quality of pork is so low, like it's hard to get your hands on good stuff. I guess if more people knew that eating half a pound of prosciutto qualified you to be on the carnivore diet, that uh, I guess there'd be quite a few more people following it. But uh, I'm feeling a little bit silly today because that's literally what I did. I ate half a pound of prosciutto and uh, a couple of tablespoons of caviar, but Frankie Boy is living the life of luxury. Uh, one day you guys are going to find me like all greasy in a cave surrounded by legs of prosciutto and wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. That would be my, uh, that would be my, uh, my humble abode if there was an apocalypse. So believe it or not, this is actually a fairly nutrient dense meal, even compared to other carnivore dieters. You know, we have high quality protein here from animals that were raised properly. We have some fish eggs. Uh, salmon roe specifically providing us with all the micronutrients we need for the day and very high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. I really expected to actually finish some of the ground beef or at least more of the ground beef and make this more representative of a meal but what are you going to do? It doesn't happen every day. You know following a carnivore diet especially when I go raw my appetite usually fluctuates drastically and and when I'm not really active or working out hard Sometimes I only like a pound, a pound and a half of meat a day. Uh, you, got, you guys got to understand, like as much as Frankie Boy uh, likes to uh, maintain the, the cutie, thick brunette look, uh, it doesn't take a lot of food because I'm five foot eight, like 150, 160 pounds. You know, I maintain a fairly low body weight and I have a small bone structure, so my stomach size isn't like too crazy. Thank you guys for joining me. If you guys would like to support me further and develop more of an understanding of the carnivore diet, uh, you can check out some of my other videos. We did a video last week, Carnivore Diet, essentially how to get started, uh, where I went over macronutrient ratios, nutrients. I have a bunch of other days of eating you can check out as well. And other videos like that caviar video 
where we sit down and we focus on a food specifically, talk about its nutrient properties, what the pros and cons are. I have also recently launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. If you ladies and gentlemen would like Frankie's meat in your mouth so you too can look like a Roman statue, then definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We are looking to do a lot of things in the future from provide you guys with raw dairy uh, to wild game meats. In addition to that, we're going to be launching fish very shortly, pork, chicken, essentially the highest quality versions of any single animal product you could desire. We have caviar, we have salmon roe at a very affordable price. Uh, we also sell sturgeon roe if you want to treat yourself. We have ground beef and we will have prosciutto in the future. Uh, we might be selling Iberico Spanish ham as well, uh, but definitely keep an eye out guys. Uh, please place an order uh, before the first week of June if you guys want to make it out for the first shipment. So again, that is frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Again, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of this beautiful Memorial Day weekend.